Welcome to Life Coaching. Now, in the last couple of weeks, we've been doing life coaching. We've done a lot of theory. Um, we've spoken about um, the Tigro model and the different ways of using it in order to achieve our goals. We've spoken about who can have life coaching and who it's advisable not to have life coaching. And we've spoken about the Kazen method, which is a wonderful way of setting tiny, tiny goals and eventually achieving your, your dream. So today we get to see a practical session. You get to see how life coaching works. So I've got Helen here who's building a business and has got a passion and uh, her passion is to create a holistic kind of center where you will have, where children can have everything, where they can have music, um, they can have um, a healthy environment, they can have healthy food, nutrition, everything. So everything is all focused in one center. So we looked at that last week. That is the passion, the big dream. And then we looked at bite-sized goals of how to actually help Helen create this center. Now remember we talked about intuitive coaching as well as the Tigro model. So I thought with Helen, it was a combination of things using intuition and also keeping the, the goals very, very realistic and very, very Kazen in order to get the commitment and to build it up because it is such a massive dream. So how did you get on this week, Helen? Well, I did a couple of the things because we talked about last time doing visualizations of the actual dream, passion, and doing I had set myself a goal of doing some research and I'd managed to do, I would say, probably about I've managed to do probably about half an hour of research, not as much as I said I would do, but I definitely started. And I've thought a lot about the previous research I've done in the past this week. So it's been on the on the mind. Fantastic. Do you want to remind us what your actual actions were for the week? So my actions were to do research mm -hmm. on my passions, which are sustainable communities and centres that are around the world and uh, probably more specifically in Europe, um, and centres which are working with nutrition, children, yoga, maybe art therapy and music. Um, and okay. basically research them. And the second was to, to visualize. visualize the so you've thing. done your, your actions for the week. Okay, so we've got half an hour session now and everything we, we do is to move you closer to your goal. So I don't know if you remember last time, we looked at different options of different things that you could do in order to help you. So how would you like to use the next 30 minutes? B because I also asked you on a scale of one to ten mm. how passionate or how close were you going to be able to do this and you said an eight yes remember so how is it growing is it becoming closer to a ten now? i think it is i think it is actually because i've seen maybe a few more potential ways in which i can start to volunteer at the centers and maybe in that way maybe it isn't a center that i will own immediately but I will start slowly by basically working Wonderful. in the centre. So you feel already f just from one life coaching yeah. your intake session yeah. you're already closer to achieving that dream yeah. which is amazing. Yeah. I say we've only done one session to keep you a little bit focused on visualising because that was very good for you yeah. and on actually creating the action of doing a bit of research. Okay so we've got 30 minutes for this session what would you like to do today in order to get you closer? I think, Even closer? I think I'd probably like to look at the side of the actual logistics of how it would fit into my life, the volunteering and the, the, the sort of places in the world that maybe I've found, how okay. that would fit into my life as it currently stands. Okay. Financially so and time-wise, like... I guess mm -hmm. some sort of time frame 
Okay. So in order to make this happen for you in half mm. an hour, in order to come out with a set of actions that are going to lead you towards this, can you put that into a sentence to make it focused? I would, I would <laughs> like, yeah, I would like to have some sort of schedule for the next year, year and a half. Okay, we'll put that down. So you'd like to have a schedule, schedule, schedule. You see, by creating this focus goal, it's a lot easier for us to set actions that are realistic in order to actually achieve whatever this is and then eventually getting to achieve our dream. You know, so once we've achieved each action, we're moving on, we're moving on, we're moving on. And before you know it, you've got your passion, which for Helen is to create the center of this holistic place. Okay, so yeah. do you want to read that out to us? I would like to have a schedule for the next year and a half for volunteering and working in different centres. Okay, so again, I'm going to keep you focused. You've got 30 minutes, and obviously I'm not putting pressure on you here, but it's nice to be able to create something from this. So what can we do to help you create something even more realistic so that by next week you're closer to doing this? How are you going to do this in half an hour? I would say it would be good to just write down a list of the countries, list of potential time frames that I could do, um, and potential ways financially volunteering. Okay, so shall we make a list then yeah. of what you just said? So you want to make a list of countries. countries. Yeah. Okay, what else? A list of different time frames that different I time. could s spend in them. Okay. This is for the year? Yeah. Okay, and what else? So, perhaps different ways in which I can either work or volunteer. So, whether it's part volunteer, part work, or totally volunteering. Okay, okay. do you want to write that down? <coughs> volunteering. Okay. Or working. And this is going to help you create a, a year, a schedule for a yeah. year. Okay. So what can you do then? What can you do this week that is realistic and is going to help you get closer to, to achieving this? So I suppose looking at the areas, the countries that we just talked about mm -hmm. and seeing which, like, wh which countries it is exactly and mm -hmm. which different, how many different areas there are okay. in each of the countries. Um, so do you want to choose that first one to work on this week, rather than the three? No, I think I'd like to do all three. You'd like to work on all three? Mm. Okay. So how are you going to do this? So would you like to have a look at the week? Because I think what worked really, really well for you last week is we drew a calendar, mm. and we looked at the week, and we looked at the time yeah. that you have. And also because you were sitting on the, on the train, you felt you had time to work and to, to do your... I feel like I need to make do. a list of the countries and then maybe for each country, maybe do it each day, country a day. Okay, we'll draw a calendar then. Yeah. Because you see, Helen's very visual and we feel that by drawing the calendar, she sees the week in front of her. This is a really, really good method. If you're visual, you know, we have, as we talked about modalities, and we talked about some people are more visual, more auditory. If you see things, if you close your eyes and the first, the first thing with you is you see rather than you hear things or feel things, then you're more visual. So drawing a calendar and dividing it up into the days, Helen is able to look at where the time is for her to actually do this action. So 
So I've just written Monday to Sunday. Okay. I've got America, Australia, Europe, because I know those are the three primary right. places that I've mm-hmm. found. Okay. Um, so three different countries. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe I'll also write in Africa, India. So I'm, I suppose I'm more looking at continents. Okay. So we're looking and at continents at the moment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and then some specific things. Um, I think that's probably the countries. Okay. So do you think it's realistic for you to look at a different continent every uh, from Monday to Friday? Yeah. How, how are you going to do that? I'll put South America in. How are you exactly. going to look? Um, so it's going to be predominantly the internet, and it's going to be a case of seeing each country and the centers that are in each country. Okay, so literally Googling. Yeah. Okay, so how, m- how many hours do you want to give to this, to each I continent? I say half an hour. Half an hour for each continent? Yeah. Fantastic. Wonderful. Yeah. That's very realistic. You see, it's a realistic goal. To go to be able to go on the internet, you see, we have to keep our goals very realistic, and know that we can achieve them as much as possible. So, Helen's going to take half an hour from Monday to Friday to look at the different continents and to see where these centres are, so you can get a better yeah. idea. Excellent, half an hour a day. Okay. Yeah. And what else would you like to be able to do? So. Um, Within that, I'm going to look at the options for volunteering and working, the options for the different time frames within those centres, look at obviously where they are, Mm -hmm. and the sense of how realistic it is to get experience in those centres. So you're going to do these three things at the same time? Yeah. You feel within half an hour? Yeah. Do you feel that's enough time to do those three actions? Well, it might be just a case of finding one centre, you know. It might not be more than one centre that I find. So because you're very visual, I'd ask you to take out another piece of paper and to write on there, say Monday, for example. Yep. Okay. And then underneath, write the different topics the different ways yeah. you're going to approach this. So, so you've got country. Yeah. Then leave a bit of space. Yeah. Then different time frames. So again, I'm going to ask you, is half an hour enough for you to do some research around these? Or do you need more than half an hour? Well, I think to start off with, it's a good start. Okay. Because you are going to, first of all, you've got to, this to be realistic, you're going to have to go onto the internet, you're going to have to find the place, mm-hmm. and then you're going to have to find out <coughs> what the different time frames are. Can you explain a bit more about the different time frames? Yeah, sure. So whether I can do one week there, one month, two months, three months. From what's on the internet From at what's the on the internet, okay, yeah. So You've got to get on the website, and then you've got to find out whether they take volunteers. Yeah. So it's just a general idea, really, to get you closer. Yeah. So you really, you do feel half an hour will be enough. Yeah. Okay. Fine. So, <coughs> and once you've done this, yeah. Every, sorry, every day, Helen. Yeah. Uh, Monday to Saturday, this will <coughs> help you get closer to have a schedule. Yeah. For the next year and a half of volunteering and working in different countries. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Excellent. Okay. So this will be your actions. Now, what about times? When are you going to do this? When will well, the half an hour be? I suppose, let's see, generally it will be the evening. Okay. So yeah. do you want to write that down? Yeah. Um, so what time on the evening? I think, let's see. Do you know what's happening with your Mondays? Yeah, pr- probably around five. Five okay. would be good. <coughs> so we'll, you'll be home by five o'clock? Yeah. Or, right, okay. Yeah. So if you put the time in there, yeah. so you're committing. So is that every day at five o'clock? No, because I won't be home at five okay. every day. So Tuesday would probably be six. Okay. Uh, Wednesday could be five. Thursday, probably 
won't be evening. Probably have to be during the day on Thursday. Okay. I've got a very busy day, so. Will you have enough time on Thursday? Might not have enough time on Thursday. Okay, we'll just maybe just put a question mark there. Okay. Yeah, because you're doing very well. You've got Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And Friday, it would have to be the afternoon. It would have to be something like 2 Okay. p.m. Okay. One, one or two, anyway. And Saturday? Uh, can't do on Saturday. Okay, well, you did put half an hour I there. I did. So, so that's fine. We'll just scrap it then because yeah. you've got plenty to do. When you look at it now, you have got plenty to do. Yeah. Now, are you going to be using, because I know that you, Helen lives in a place where the internet is not always very strong. Yes. I'm again going to ask you the question because it's here for me to yeah. help you. Are you sure that half an hour is going to be long enough by the time you get on the internet and everything? Yeah. It's definitely going to be yeah. long enough to get because you on I the internet. Because I can always use the internet at um, my parents' house. Okay. So I could, you know, drive over to them. Okay. So how committed are you to doing the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday? Which is a wonder will be wonderful if you can do that. Yeah, I'm committed. You're totally able yeah, to do that. Totally, yeah. Fantastic. Okay, so that will be your main action. Yeah. And how about the visualization? Because it would be really good for you. I do that you pretty carry much on. every day. Right. Naturally, you know, as mm. I'm just doing going about my everyday things. So, I think, um, yeah, I think that'll be quite easy. Because you're very visual. Yeah. The need to the more you visualise the more it's becoming real. Yeah. Is this working? Do you feel that you could yeah. your goal is getting closer? Totally, now? yeah. Yeah. Because for me, I I have very I basically have difficulty from sitting down and working out the steps. Yeah. So for somebody to sit down with me and actually talk to me about the steps. Because I I mean I've been wanting to do this for ages, but I was like, Oh, now I've kind of realised, oh, I have to do that before I can get to the schedule. Because I kept thinking, I want to do this schedule, it's really annoying. But there was like this kind of step, and I didn't quite know what was involved in the step. Okay. And now I've talked to you, it's like, oh, okay, I just need to sit down and decide which countries. Okay. And then, when I've looked at the countries, it will make it a bit more clearer. That's right. And then when it comes to the next session, we can look at how that went. Yeah. And then we can take it from there. And you'll be surprised sometimes because you're going to be doing your research and you're going to be finding out so much stuff when you're working on your dreams and your goals. Things might change. <laughs> you might start out with this idea yeah. and you may suddenly think, oh, hang on a second. Maybe I need to do it a bit like this. Or yeah. You just don't know what's going to yeah. happen. That is the amazing thing about life coaching. The minute you start to, to get yourself to, do the co to be able to be coached, your mind starts to open up and you start thinking laterally yeah. and people will start coming into your life and you'll be amazed. So much will start to happen. Thank you. So you're welcome. So is there anything else that I can help you with before we um, end the session? No, I don't, I don't think so. And on a scale of 1 to 10, how committed are you to doing these actions? I'd say an 8. An eight, okay, which is brilliant. We'll put that down. Yep. And would you be able to email me oh once yeah. you've done them? Yeah. Because that's also, I find, I have life coaching myself, and I'm very good once I say that, you know, I want to commit to someone, and a life coach is someone you can commit to, someone who will inspire you. I know that Helen is going to achieve her goal. I know how passionate she is, and I know how suitable she is for this goal and this dream. And that's my job, is to keep her inspired and to keep people inspired. And I have life coaching because without life coaches, I couldn't carry on doing what I'm doing with my work with moving on TV and moving on theatre and staying inspired. And one of the things that really works for me is after the session, I email myself and I email my coach exactly what I'm going to do. I break it down and I say, this is what I'm going to do and this is what I commit to. But, you know, life happens, and again, if someone cannot uh, do the actions, it's not the end of the world, because they're already starting to think differently. But I would challenge them and say, okay, how can we help you here? How can we make it easier so that you can actually achieve it? 
So thank you very much, Helen. No problem. And um, I look forward to coaching lots of other people. Now you've seen how a practical session works. Um, please contact me at Lauren, L-A-U-R-E-N-E, at movingontv.uk. Go on the website, which is www.movingontv.uk, and contact us. And if you want to come on and do life coaching here, that, that's fine. If you want to work with me, I work with Skype or by phone, and we can discuss um, how, you know, payments according to everyone. Everyone is different, so we have a scale of payments. Thank you very much. Goodbye.